Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is going to be a review on the new Adidas Taishan Pro Model shoe. Unfortunately, I do not have the shoe on hand to be able to give an actual review of me showing it off for you, but I did actually go into a store uh, locally in my town and try on a pair and was able to, you know, get an idea as to how they will feel. So this is going to be more of a first impressions type of review and if I do get a pair down the line I will do an actual thorough review on how the shoe feels and how it you know fits and just all the specs of the shoe that need to be covered so but for this video it's going to be just on my impression when wearing the shoe and walking around the store for about 20 minutes so uh, first and foremost the shoe is basketball inspired and just by looking at the shoes, you can tell that it has a basketball style silhouette to it. When looking at it, um, at first it does seem a little bit bulky, but it is a shoe that because it has a uh, cup sole to it and it has an inner bulk wrap, where on uh, the example shown on the green pair, it has the gold outlining just above the sole, that is where you would see the inner bulk wrap. That is what they're talking about. It's the same kind of thing with the Lucas Puig where it has the cup sole and then it has that bulk wrap on the very top and then it has the upper of the shoe. If the inner bulk wrap and the actual outsole of the cup sole are the same color, then it does have a little bit of a slight bulky look to it. But when stepping into the shoe, it actually has your foot sitting pretty low in the shoe. Granted, it has a very minimal insole to it. It's nothing, you know, to brag about. It's not very supportive or anything that's going to help you when taking any kind of impact. It's more just a sock liner to keep your foot uh, secure in the shoe. And for anybody that's wanted to do anything with impact, I definitely would recommend getting some aftermarket insoles. But um, going with that idea, you do sit pretty low into the shoe, and the shoe actually is really really comfortable i have a wide foot and this shoe i usually go just about a half size up to fit an adidas shoe to my liking i wear 11 in you know a lot of other skate shoes and etnies dc and this shoe i went up to 11 and a half and i felt perfect it fit true to size in that aspect because again adidas's sizing is a little bit off but that was where my true to size was and the shoe has a really really good heel lock-in and it has a good heel clip on the inside you can feel it uh, when holding the back of the shoe and the let's go with just the sole the sole itself is dual density so it has two different uh, densities as far as the rubber compound is concerned you have the softer area which is the heel and the forefront of the shoe and then you have the harder material which is where the primo area is so that way you don't uh, feel too much when you get Primo. And surprisingly enough, even just walking around in the shoes, they started to bend very well very early. And that's an indication for anybody that does wear cup soles, like me, I wear nothing but cup soles. That helps to ensure anybody like that. The shoe is going to break in fast and you will get really good board feel right from the gate. Obviously with cup soles, you don't get, you know, the feel like a Volk does, right out of the box, but you do feel quite a bit. And with time, especially after that first session, you start to really break it in. You get the bend of the shoe going. You have really good board feel and you will be able to know just where your foot is when standing on the board without having to look down. And so really good shoe. And it's, um, it doesn't have that heel rise, um, internally like the Boosnitz does. I mean, you can see on the Boosnitz, uh, sole itself that the heel does stand up a little bit more but um this doesn't have anything like how certain shoes they would have like an internal heel lift uh to make you more stand on your toes and lean forward a little bit more but this shoe is just flat so you do stand as you stand uh when walking around and so the collar is minimally padded i would really push to say that it's like mid level comfort it's more just minimal and it still surprisingly helps you to just feel like your foot just gets sucked into your shoe kind of like a vacuum it doesn't have the same type of features that the Boosnitz or the Suchu ADV 
one have where it has the extra padding to kind of keep your foot nice and secure and in place but the collar the way that it shaped it did make me feel that my foot was really nice and secure in the shoe and the toe is a little bit more pointed than i'm used to but that still didn't make for the shoe to be really narrow on the toe itself it had a really good room for all of my foot and it felt very comfortable. I didn't get that annoying toe pinch when wearing the shoe. And I can only imagine that's gonna be an amazing feature for uh, when you do flip tricks. It's gonna be really helpful in getting that flick without putting in the extra effort for it. And just from the feel of the shoe, compared to the Samba ADB, because I really wanted that shoe until you saw one of the little uh, problems with it, where you have the toe and then you have the side panel when they overlap, Typically, in, sh in shoes, they're supposed to have an extended overlap, so that way if you bust through one of them, it's not just an immediate hole, you have something else to go through as well. In the Samba ADV, um, it literally just overlapped right where the stitches were, and then when you bust through the stitches, you now have an immediate hole to expose your foot. This shoe, it really feels solid. It feels like it's really going to be durable, and not just for the leather, uh, models but for the actual suede ones as well it feels like it actually is really layered over well so that way as soon as you go through the ollie area that you would have a lot more to bust through before you actually get to your foot the lacing is held up a little bit higher than your traditional shoes so it's not going to be anything that you bust laces through real easily this shoe does not have anything to kind of keep your laces protected or kind of away from the grip tape so once you start to actually flick Unfortunately, they are exposed and vulnerable, but it, they tried to kind of compensate for that for having the laces up a little bit higher So that way you can avoid that as much as possible. Other than that, it's great shoe. I actually have that on my list of shoes that I really really want to get and Again, if I do actually come across the shoes and pick them up I will do a more proper review on the shoe in hand so that way you guys can get a better look as to what to expect from the shoe itself but um, other than that, I hope this helps. It is a great shoe. I love the way it feels. And for any of you guys that do end up getting it, I'm certain that you guys are going to love it too. Leave your comments down below. Um, let me know what you guys think of the shoe. If any of you guys actually do have it and I say anything that you feel is conflicting, please let me know. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts, especially if you've skated it. How has the shoe held up for you since trying it on to now when you actually are either still skating it or have retired it? Um, switch shoes or whatever the case is. Just let me know what you guys think. I'm really, really curious about that. If you like the content and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video goes up. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and a share. It really does a lot more than you think and it helps the channel to grow and to be able to do more for the channel. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.